So this is how you generate inquiries, how you handle the phone call. That's a big one. How you handle the tour, how you handle the follow-up, and how are you onboarding new families and keeping them with you over that first crucial three-month period. So this is the enrollment funnel. Some of the ways that we just talked about, including community marketing, referral, online search, signage, and social media, all flowing in to the funnel. Those are all leads. Are you guys tracking all the pieces of your enrollment funnel? You should either be tracking them, and this gets down to the very last point, which is know your digits. You should be knowing how many inquiries you're getting. Even if they're just calling for price, we still want you to write it down. Get a relationship with those people and track their information. Tour the school, don't tour the school, and enroll or not. That's your enrollment funnel. So all the way through the funnel, but especially at two points in the funnel, this is where I started nine years ago helping you guys. So I've been doing this now for almost a decade with the phone call and the tour. This is where we started, and it's where we're still hitting really, really hard because still a lot of you guys' phones being going to a message machine. Not great. I would really love it if you could at least have a phone tree and be able to reach a live person. You need to have that. Okay, going to a message machine for a parent to call you that wants to learn more information about your school and it goes to a message machine, you just spent a lot of money advertising and you just kind of flushed it down the toilet, okay? I'm just being real with you. So please put a phone system in and put a phone tree that somebody can ring over to talk to a front desk person or a director or an enrollment specialist. If you're gonna spend money advertising and doing this and trying to get full, that's, that's a basic. Also, I think you should be mystery shopping your school on the phone. You can hire a mystery shopping firm or you can have a friend call or you should be calling. Are they just giving the rate out over the phone? Or are they engaging, building trust, getting the information of the caller, and for those of you in the academy, using our phone script to get all that information and follow up with people and book that tour? So that's the first place where the magic happens or not so much, okay? What I'd love to do with the Disney thing is I'd actually like to call the Disney reservation line and tape that experience and then when we're, we're there, try to use that to even improve the phone script that we're currently using and just even take it up a notch and just kick ass with the phone call and the tour based on Disney, Disney best practices. That just came to my head. Um, the tour. Is that a magical experience for parents when they come and tour your school? How does it flow? Is it scripted out? Is it choreographed? Do you have specific places where you take parents and show them cool stuff? Do you have your core values posted and your vision and mission? Are they being inspired by what they see? Do they trust you? Or are you ill-prepared? You don't have any packets. You have no information. Your teachers are talking to each other and chatting on the playground and not watching the children, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, I mean, I literally, I can and have spend three hours on just this slide. Um, but this is, these are the two key touch points for where you need to build trust. Sharon Foster, where are you? Hey, baby. So she's got an ebook, and lots of our folks do. Um, includes letter from the owner, it builds trust. So when someone inquires, they get this e packet or ebook. Uh, it positions her school as a top choice. Okay, and this comes to folks through email. Are you still using this? Good, awesome, yeah, it's great. So the six best questions to ask when touring a child care center and one question to always avoid. So if I'm a parent and I get an email after I call the school and I'm getting and I'm ready to go, maybe go tour her school or maybe I haven't even booked a tour yet and I get this, I'm definitely going to be calling her to tour because I gotta know, I first gotta open this up and know what is the one question to always avoid, right? So human nature, you must know must know. Um, another thing to do in your tours is a coffee station for parents and refreshments for families or a bowl of apples, snacks for the child, little bottles of water. Make them feel welcome. Here's an example of charming display of team bios. Here's a thanks for touring card. 
Where's Steve and Jessica? Hi. I told you I was going to put this in here. Yep, I love this, love this. So it just says thank you so much for visiting us. And it's from the owners, and it's just wonderful, and it's so engaging, and I, I just love it. So they put that in their goodie bag. How many of you guys are using, I'll go back. How many of you guys are using a goodie bag in, during your tour? Raise them up. Okay, so that's another thing that we teach is create a goodie bag or have a gift, get some dollar scholastic books, put ribbons around them, blue and pink, have them be age appropriate, or just have a goodie bag that's inexpensive, that's filled up with cool stuff. Uh, you could do logoed items, you can do stuff from the dollar store, you can do a combination, but this, these guys put this in their bag along with it, which is just that really great personal touch, okay? Happy family guarantee. We believe you and your child will love our school so much. We're willing to take all the risk. After you enroll, if you become dissatisfied, we'll re refund your tuition, no questions asked. This is peace of mind for parents. This is putting your school where your, the money where your mouth is, okay? And it says to clients, they must be good. <laughs> 